Tobata with Aoi Love on Peloton. Love her. Love her workouts. Love her motivation. Love her, her speeches throughout the ride. Sometimes it's just going to be so motivating. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, man, as a single mom, it can be hard trying to get a workout in, have patience. It's a lot of mental that goes into being a single mom. And I know I'm out of breath right now, but I just thought I could come here and just share and have a heart to heart. Like with, I know there's a lot of other single moms. I'm not the only one out here, but sometimes just getting on the Peloton downstairs while the little one is with my aunt 30 minutes early before I go to work. I need that. I need it so bad because it's like this weekend has been so stressful. You just have those mental breakdowns sometimes. So you just need like something to channel that energy. So just being able to come downstairs. If you don't have time to go to the gym, ride on the Peloton, just do what you got to do in order to just get through because you want to be the best mom you can. And sometimes a lot of people don't understand like, whew, it can be hard, so draining. And you don't want those breakdowns, but it happens sometimes. So just like asking for help is like the key to it all. I know I'm going through the weight loss journey and it's harder this time just because I'm not single. A single person, I actually have, you know, another person that I got to put first and I can't go to the gym anytime I want to. So I have to create different alternatives. And me being that prideful person, sometimes I hate asking for help, but you just got to sometimes. And I know I, I'm about to go to work, put in these extra hours, but just, I don't know. You just gotta be strong, you gotta be strong. Find a way to get through it. And this is my way of getting through it. Just working out. I mean, I have my hard time, but, we gotta stay strong. Well, I can't hold everybody up because I had to go to work myself. So put in these eight hours or six hours, I don't even know how many extra hours I'm putting in, it's overtime. So I'm gonna go talk to you later, peace. Stay strong. Hello everyone, it is Tuesday, a beautiful day. I got to start vlogging probably before I leave the house now because this time change, girls. Mm -mm -mm. It's all dark and stuff, and it's only 5.30. I need to change that time because that is not right. Anyways, I got a couple of minutes because you already know where I'm at. At the gym. At the gym. Anyways, I'm going to get in here, and we're going to do our hour workout with Tim today because he's Tuesday workout. I'm excited because I didn't work out yesterday. I took a day off. Why did I take a day off? I don't know why. Oh, maybe because I work out on Sunday. So I was like, okay, since I usually take off on Sundays, I'm gonna go ahead and just take off on Monday, spend some time with the toddler, and then work out on Tuesday, pick it back up Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday type thing. So that's what I'm doing. Anyways, you know what? I wanted to address something. That vlog or my, my prior um, rant that I had before this one, I just wanted to, you know, send out and let everyone know I don't need like sympathy or anything that was just like a moment I was having as a single mom a mom an adult I don't care what you are as an adult we struggle with di different things in life and it's not struggles that's just like uh, let's go ahead and cry about it type thing it's more of a hey let me release some things that's on my heart type thing so I just wanted to put it out there like the sympathy I'm not looking for any of that it's just mainly trying to reach people just to let them know hey we are go through our own trials and tribulations and it's just a way to figure out how to overcome those I don't care if it's working out I don't care if it's just taking a stroll in the park gossiping with your girlfriend we all have these struggles through life, especially in today's times. I mean, we're going through so much in life and you have the pandemic we're going through, we're working full-time jobs. It's just so many hats that we're having to play these days. So it's like, we gotta figure out a way to take care of ourselves mentally and physically. And mental is some, mental health is something that I've always been an advocate for because I see it so much, not only in adulthood, but also in children 
And it's like, how can we overcome this? What is the answer? No one has the answer. I know a lot of doctors are going to say, hey, medicine, medicine this, medicine that. I'm not too big on medicine other than if you need it, you need it. I'm not a doctor in any kind of way. But also, we also need to figure out what else do we need in order to make ourselves better better because like i said everyone goes through struggles it could be a simple struggle it could be a big struggle i don't know and with me being a single mom i have to play so many different roles in life and we have those mom guilds that play on to us like oh should i be doing this today because i didn't spend x amount of time with my daughter today so i just have those guilty feelings sometimes and i think along with that along with hey let's let's make ends meet um how am i going to do that just like it's just so much that goes through my mind and I never imagined being a single mom, it could be this hard. I mean, I knew it was going to be hard, but I didn't know it was going to be this hard where I have like different things that's constantly going through my brain. Like, am I doing this right? Is she healthy? Is she that? Is she that? Is she doing this right? Is she on the right track in education wise? It's just so many different things I think about and I forget about myself. So I think with me things snowball to the point where I just get emotionally overwhelmed so I'm trying to figure out and I know we're gonna all go through those times where hey we think we got it figured out and then boom something happens and that's where I'm at like I thought I had everything figured out and then you just get to a place where you're just like no that's not right that's not how this is gonna work so it's just like mind-blowing to just try to figure out how to do everything right and I just get to a point where I just I don't know I just have to cry about it I mean there's nothing wrong with crying because I tell everybody all the time I'm a crybaby but it is what it is but I am good I am good trust and believe so you'll see that from time to time where I'll just have like this uh this talk with with people and just I don't know I guess it's just a real it's real life it's real life and that's what I'm going to bring to everyone in the vlog is how I go through things, not only with my weight loss journey, but just, just life in general. I know I haven't shared with you all what I do for a living and I'm not going to, I don't feel like disclosing that, but it's a lot. That's all I can say. So we might share it one of these days, but anyways, uh, that's all I have for you all. So let me get in here. It is two minutes before class starts. He's always late. So it is what it is. Um, and I will talk to you guys in the next one, probably tomorrow, because tomorrow is Way in Wednesday. Mm, so I will probably talk to you all about what the scale reveals, because today is day two on the new personal points plan. And I am doing the diabetic plan. I will fill you in on a separate vlog on that. So it's probably actually going to be a vlog before this one is posted so i'm gonna probably fill everybody in on how i'm doing which plan i did the assessment so on and so forth so look for that either before or after this one and we will touch bases on that and i hope everybody else is doing well on the weight watchers journey or whatever journey you're on or if you're just watching this just to watch it i want to say thank you and thank you to all the new followers as well and everyone hopefully you're enjoying it if you have any questions comments leave them below all right all right i'll talk to you later bye
happy Wednesday, everybody. I hope y'all are having a good day. How are y'all doing? I'm doing well. It's cloudy outside. Very cloudy and dull. And I feel dull because I'm looking real naked without earrings. I ripped one off. So I'm like, I can't just wear one earring at work all day. So I ripped the other one off. Oh, these masks are driving me crazy. But anyways, uh, we are here at the Google Lake Park. Yeah, the Lake Park, whatever. Doing stairs. I'll show y'all a couple of clips of that. But today was waiting Wednesday this morning. I lost 1.5 pounds. So I got that one pound off from last week and another half a pound. Super stoked about that. Hopefully next week's weigh-in is going to be even better since we started the new plan. Um, Monday was a struggle since it was day one. Tuesday was much easier and today was even easier but that was also because I was consuming the kids literally all day I'm exhausted they can work you when I say they can work you they can work your nerves they can work every part of your body but I survived I'm here I'm about to go, go work out and then I'm gonna go get the little one that's gonna be my day I really don't have much else to report I think I got Oh, I can't lie to you all because I don't know how many points I have left because I have 31 all day. And then today I had like a, a meal for lunch and it was only one point. So it was super low. I don't really had, I didn't have much at all today in regards to points. So I have quite a bit left over. Um, well, I think that's it. Hopefully everybody's having a good day. And let me go get this workout in. I think I'm going to do about 45 minutes of the stairs. Hopefully that's six rounds. Oh my gosh, my contact. Oh, I hate when I do that. Anyways, I'm gonna go hit this trail. Talk to you all later. classes tomorrow so that's why I just did cardio today yesterday wasn't very much of cardio so I was like let me do some cardio today last day of I guess we can call this um fall the man was looking at me sorry uh last day of fall so I was like let me go ahead and get it in outside today so I went ahead and came to creep core got my workout done I feel so naked and I forgot my earrings well one ripped out with the mask and I just took the other one out I just said forget it uh, on my way to pick up the little one because she's not in here yet. Daycare is closing early, but I'll be there on time. You know what I'm saying? I did weigh in Wednesday today. I'm going to drive off a little bit, but it'll be safe, guys. I promise. Uh, weigh in Wednesday. I lost 1.5 pounds. So that's 0.5 that I really lost. The one pound comes from my gain last week which it was a depressing but like I said there's gonna be ups and downs I can't think and you can't think that any weight loss journey is always gonna be perfect there's gonna be battles there's gonna be uphills there's gonna be downhills however you want to rephrase it we're all gonna experience that it's just you can't give up you got to push through I've been through this journey once I've tried multiple diets and I just know how to go so I can't get down about the game last week I kept it moving and the results show today just by losing that 1.5 pounds I was super excited just to see that like I said hopefully next week will be even more of a loss just because we went into the new Weight Watcher plan and my points are a little lower I feel like I'm not consuming as many calories as I did on the last plan so I think this is more like my first plan that I went on but I'll talk to you all later about the differences in regards to the first one my last plan and then this one how I feel and just just different things on that probably on the vlog prior to this 
But anyways, I just wanted to touch bases on today's workout. I'm gonna go home. Actually, I gotta go get groceries after I pick up the little one. And then cook dinner and that'll be the night. Yeah. So I will talk to you all later because I'm a sweaty mess and I'm driving and vlogging. Shh, don't tell nobody. I promise I'm being safe. That's why my eyes are focused on the road the majority of the time. But don't do me. I gotta do what I gotta do because I gotta get to this daycare on time. All right, talk to you later. Bye. Okay, guys, I just got back from Walmart pickup and I thought I would share just a little small grocery haul. It's not a big grocery haul because this is the second we anyways it's not the big grocery haul the big grocery haul is two weeks away from here so i'm just going to show y'all some of my stuff let's look at it this is what i got and i'm going to go over each item for you all real real quick and if y'all hear any music in the background that's just the toddler watching her i think little angels not coco melon today but anyway so let's quickly go over this we have bread. This is the honey wheat 35 calorie bread. And it's two points for two slices, one point per slice. So that really didn't change on the new personal points plan. So that's just something that I, is a staple. I gotta have bread, I don't care. Uh, these are my quests, y'all saw this before. That's my protein shakes. These are three points per shake, Ooh, I think. Two or three, I just calculate. Like I said, we're new to the program. It just started on Monday, so two or three points for that. I try to remember, but brain, you know? Ain't nobody got time. Broccoli slaw, if you never made this, you just put it in the skillet, spray your skillet down first. Put it in the skillet, one or two tablespoons of uh, soy sauce. So bomb, like let it sizzle in there and let it shrivel up. It is so good. If you've never tried it, go to Walmart and get you a bag of broccoli slaw. Add about a table to two tablespoons. It depends on how much, how salty you like your stuff. I'm not big into salt, so one or two tablespoons for me, and boom, it is so good. Let it sit. Probably, I think you would probably mix it up. Probably about, let's say about three or four minutes. Kind of low. You don't even have to keep it high. I always keep my stuff low just because sometimes I'll forget about it. Anyway, let's keep going. Chicken breast. I'm back to chicken breast because thighs are points now and I don't have enough points to be trying to integrate my meat. So I'm back to breast, even though I don't care for breast as much as I like my thighs. We got cauliflower rice. This is the fried rice style. I also like the other brand that's also cauliflower rice, medley, I believe. Anyways, that's really good. These are zero points. I already added this up into my tractor. Zero points for this cauliflower rice, y'all. Follow the directions on the back. And I usually use the skillet. Yeah, the stove top. And so easy, quick, and delicious. I got these, of course, my staples for work. Okay. And these are actually one point now. I'm so excited. One point for these meals. And I'll eat these every once in a while. Just when I'm running late, you know how it is. So I'll grab one of those out of the freezer. Make that a quick lunch for work. Of course, a bundle of asparagus. Love asparagus. Pop it in the oven. Dash a little salt on it. Perfect. Of course, I got some stuff for my... Um, amazing taco soup so i just got like the canned foods for that uh let's see what else i got that y'all might be interested in these are really good this is the light version of laughing cow cheese it is um one point per wedge i love these i will pop it into my lunchbox now every once in a while i'll forget about these i don't know why but i'll either pop it in my lunchbox eat it for a snack and then have my 30, what is it, 38 straws, which is five points now. It was four on the last plan. So this is five points for 38 straws. Have this and a wedge. Yes, it's six points now, but I used to dip it into the uh, cheese. Oh, so good, so good. Quick, easy snack. Of course, I got my onion for a meal that I'm gonna be making later for my little one and for me. Of course, I'm gonna be grinding up some turkey meat and some ground beef for her, so I need one onion. 
Anyways, I got eggs, which is free on my personal points plan. Uh, so I had to get more eggs. Fiber One brownies. We talked about these in a later vlog, in an earlier vlog, and these are two points still. So that's real good, quick and easy. I would rather have this over the granola bars because granola bars are five points. So these are four, these are two, easy. And last but not least, over the weekend, we went to Costco's. If y'all have never had this, you're sleeping. I'm gonna need y'all to go to Costco's and get these. They're usually like $10, look at this. Okay, so it's Milton's Cauliflower Crust Roasted Veggie Pizza. And it's only eight points for one fourth of a slice, which is a lot. But tonight I have like 20 points left, I believe. So I'm gonna be having half of this pizza. So bomb. And you can even use your own chicken breast or your your turkey, whatever zero points, or even if it is points, sprinkle it on top, integrate it with your personal points plan. I can't wait. Cause I'm hungry tonight and this pizza is in the oven right now. I'm about to smash. <laughs> anyway, so that was my grocery haul for today. We have a little one. Of course, you gotta make a scene. Thanks, girly. You're gonna show them your little dance? Show them your dance. Hey, 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 hey. Oh my gosh. Oh, what, what, what? No twerking. No twerking. Don't shake your booty. Oh, <laughs> you little bad kid. Girl, I know you didn't. Look at her. Anyway, she's so bad. Oh, man. So that's just the, the mini grocery haul that I'm just giving you all this week. And that's it. So let me go ahead and put these groceries away because a lot of it goes into the freezer. So it's so cold out here. I'm about to go into this gym. It's Thursday. Um, Darren's class. Look at my new fit. Look at the new leggings. They're cute. Ooh, she cute though. So let me get up in here and do this class. And I'll talk to you guys later. I just wanted to pop in. I'm not going to do much vlogging today since I'm going to the gym. It's probably windy, so this is probably going to be a noisy one. But one more time, look at the new leggings. Don't hate. Talk to you later.